look at holes and threading. I'm going to start by creating a hole. Now where I click matters, if I, if I click on this top face, the hole is going to start at the top and go down. Um, if I click on the other face, right click repeat hole, it's going to start on this side and go up. Let's go ahead and repeat that. Uh, another trick, if I click on a face, you notice I have these locations to align with, and those are good starting points, or I can click nearly anywhere. And then if I rotate, I can grab this blue dot, and notice I get other snap points, for example, to this outside radius, the center point. All those are going to show up as snap points as well. I can move that there. I can specify my diameter. Um, I can cut through everything or to a certain face or distance. Um, I can pick that uh, depth. I can type it in. Uh, I can do multiple holes if I want to, and that's usually I need to have a sketch of where they all are, usually a point that I can put the multiple holes onto. And then I can cut, if I have more than one body or component, I can choose which one I'm going to cut. I'll say OK. And now for the threads. If I create the threads, if I have the model not checked and I select, watch carefully what happens, I click on this, it actually changes the diameter of the hole, so it's correct for tapping based on my uh, designing. You notice as I go through these, it's going to change um, that size to get the correct size. So if it's a one inch hole, it's going to subtract in the amount uh, for the thread thickness. Uh, a couple other things here. Uh, I'll notice that I clicked on the top, and so that means if I change my uh, full length, if I uncheck that, and I have these arrows now, I can actually designate from the top how those threads go. You know, so right now we're going from the top down. Um, I can also adjust if I have an offset from the top. I have two blue arrows here uh, to make those adjustments. I can also even change the hole at this point if I wanted to. I could do that here in this command. I'll undo that. Now if I want to go from the other side, I go to Create, Thread, and now I'll click on the bottom. And I'll notice if I uncheck full length, now my controls are uh, relative to the bottom. And so it's very visual here. It depends on where, which side I click on, where it's going to start to put those threads. All right, I hope that helps.